Trying to capture the movements of an electron as it zips around an atom is like trying to take a photo of a bee's wing in motion. If your shutter speed is too slow, you'll see the general shape of the bee's wings, but the image will be too blurry to give you meaningful information about the structure of the wings and the exact motion that keeps these insects airborne. Electrons travel at speeds much faster than bee wings. In fact, an electron can travel from one side of a molecule to the other in a matter of attoseconds. Now, an attosecond is an incredibly short unit of time. It's a billionth of a billionth of a second. And that's why we've come to SLAC to use the world's most advanced X-ray free electron laser. An X-ray laser is like a super powerful camera with an incredibly fast shutter speed of a few hundred attoseconds which allows us to study electrons. Two X-ray pulses are used. The first starts the motion of the electron. The second captures what happened to the electron after a short time. By repeating the measurements and varying this short time between the pulses, we map the electron's motion. Not only do we need an incredibly fast shutter speed to get a sharp image of the electrons, but we also need to take as many images as we can so that we can see where it is located at each moment and build up a picture of its motion step by step. A high repetition rate of X-ray pulses is important to capture this information accurately. Until recently, this X-ray laser could produce 120 pulses of light per second, and that only gave us an incomplete picture into electron behavior. But now, after a groundbreaking upgrade, it can produce 33,000 pulses of X-rays per second and will eventually produce up to a million pulses per second with the same ultra-short shutter speed. This increased repetition rate is very important to us because it gives us far more data, more accurate measurements, and the opportunity to use new techniques for mapping electrons. Finally, we have enough X-ray pulses that are short enough, bright enough, and fast enough to watch an electron's precise movements in real time. This X-ray laser gives us fundamental insights into using and even controlling electrons to create, for instance, future energy technologies like solar cells that optimize light absorption and conversion to electrical energy, faster electronics, and advanced medical applications like a better understanding of how molecules in the body are damaged by radiation therapy. We're no longer guessing what's going on with the motion of electrons inside matter. Finally, we can map an electron's movements step by step.